Hello everyone, uh, this video here, uh, today I want to talk about uh, regressing in a language. Um, something that's natural for all of us, no matter how good you are at learning foreign languages. Uh, we all regress, if you, don't use the, if you don't use the language for a certain period of time, you will start, you will find yourself regressing in that language. Now, uh, I think I mentioned before, uh, in your newer languages, the ones you just started, um, if you if you uh, take off, I say maybe uh, two weeks, three weeks, a month, then you will find yourself progressing uh, terribly. I mean, it, it, it's even happened to me. Uh, I start I started learning the language, and I haven't practiced for like a month or so like that, and I find myself in oh man my my skill was just there were even simple phrases I couldn't remember how to say in that language because I wasn't using it so um, what I had to do was uh, I took one whole day I took one whole day I got up early in the morning I think like four o'clock five in the morning and I started I started uh, studying that material in that language and practicing <clears throat> With some with some people in the chat rooms, I will go over my notes. I will revise my um, all of my journals I made in the past, um, all my notes, all my journals, and uh, I would just go to the chat room and practice that stuff. I would do that for the whole day, and I, I'm not sure about you guys, but it takes me a day to get back in business in that language if I progressed. Um, I had really really bad regrets in that language so uh, what I would recommend you guys do is uh, definitely keep your notes never throw no never throw away your notes and um, on certain websites where you can make journals um, you don't have to worry about them getting deleted because they are always on the website however just in case you should um, copy your journals you know type them in the word and save them save them in a word and um, save also save them on the SD card or jump drive just to have them for your future you know for your future notes because you never know what's going to happen perhaps your computer may shut down and you may have to reformat so you never know you want to get that stuff on the SD card or jump drive that's what I do if I regress in the language I'll take a day go back revise my notes my journals whatnot and I'm back in business now I know um, perhaps you know some of you guys are saying that well you, you can't afford to do it for a day if you can't afford to do that for a day then I would say um, if you're doing that three hours like two languages a day three hours each I will I will, I will recommend you um, take that one language you're trying to get back in business in and study that for six hours perhaps do that for two days I'm not sure it, it all depends on how fast you you know how fast you're able to catch back up but spend two days you know trying to uh, pick your level back up but if you if if you don't work on the weekends just take you know just go ahead and take the um, take the whole day like I said get up early in the morning and just study for a whole day I would say uh, if I do it, I will get up maybe five in the morning, and I will I will re, I will literally study that language all the way until midnight or something like that, that whole day. And by the end of that time, you know I'm sharp. I'm back in business. So like I said, it it happens. It happens um, to everyone. It's a natural. It's just natural. If you don't lose, if you what do they say? If you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> If you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. So it is definitely imperative to, uh, you know, keep up on your language study. Now, if in those languages you have a lot of experience in, it's not that bad. You will, you will regress a little bit, but it won't be very bad regression. You won't forget simple things. You won't, for, you won't forget simple things. But those languages you just started, uh, it, it, you will regress terribly so bad that you you feel that you have to start all over again you just have to regenerate it you know the knowledge is still there you just have to regenerate it that's all so um, 
if you find yourself regressing in language, just go ahead and take one day. I would say the weekend, since most people don't work on the weekend, I'll take the whole day. Get up at 5 in the morning, get your notes out, your journals, go over all that stuff. Go ahead, go practice with someone, and you know, bam, you're back in business. So um, that's what I do. It works for me. Um, it definitely works for me. So uh, I think it will be. I think it will work for you guys as well. So um, yeah. Well, that will conclude this video. Um, I would also like to hear from you guys. If when you guys start regressing in a language, what do you do? Okay, if you find yourself, you know, say, wow, I, I need to practice the language, what, what steps do you go through? What, you know, what do you, how do you go about, um, how do you go about recovering that, you know, recovering your skill in that language? Well, I look forward to this discussion with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, well, yeah, if you have any questions, just send me a message and I'll get back to you ASAP. ASAP. And uh, thanks for viewing the video.